Hello, our lives. You've got Joanna and Elizabeth here, and we are here to get deep with all of you in this awakening spiritual journey that we're all experiencing. If you have something that you have that you are needing to surrender, this video is calling to you to remind you that you can surrender. The reason why surrendering is so hard for most people is because we cling to things and we attach to them, whether it's a person, experience, or situation that we think defines us and we want to control them. And really what we're doing is we are not allowing ourselves to surrender to what is the divine plan for what's meant for us. And instead of surrendering it to God, soul, the universe, we cling to it. We cling to it and try to control it through our minds, through ego. And we're not allowing ourselves to fully surrender into the now moment through what we can trust. Because when you surrender, so this is the difference between surrendering and attaching yourself to outcomes. When you're surrendered, and I want you all to close your eyes and just feel into this energy, my love. When you're surrendered, you've given all of the control to God, the universe and your soul. When you're surrendered, you're allowing yourself to flow into what is meant for you. And it comes to you even faster than if you were clinging to and holding on to an outcome that's never going to arise. So it's hard for people to surrender because they think when you surrender, you're giving away your only attachment to things when surrendering truly allows you to get and receive all the things that you desire. Surrendering is surrendering the energy that's attached to the outcomes. And when you release the outcomes of things and situations, you're actually allowing them to flow to you naturally and you're aligning with soul. You have to even, there, let's do one step deeper in this because you're bringing up this in my head right now. It's like when you're talking about surrendering it to the outcome. So not only do we have these attachments to things, we have already decided, the mind has already decided the outcomes that are good or bad right? And there's so much duality that's placed in our everyday lives and the attachment to the good or bad that we think this outcome is going to bring. And when you're surrendering, you're actually releasing the duality. You're releasing the duality of good and bad. And you're now in acceptance of just what is. And now you're actually shifting into that flow state of being in receiving mode of all your souls trying to bring you. Yeah, when you release the duality, you're aligning with soul and you're aligning with the infinite source energy that is bringing you everything that you are. When you're unable to surrender, you're actually not trusting your soul and you're clinging to the outcomes, well, which then further pushes them away. So cool. So I want you guys to really feel what this looks like because it's happening all day long in all of your lives, right? And we don't even recognize it for what it is. We don't even recognize that we have these attachments to things and they could be something really, really simple. So this morning I took my daughter and we were gonna get our nails done. We had an appointment at 10 a.m. to get our nails done. And we drove there and I wasn't really wanting to get my nails done. I sort of actually wanna take them off, but my daughter really wanted to get hers done. So we were driving there and I wanted to go shopping and get my day started. And we get to the nail salon and it was closed. Like nobody was there. I thought I was going crazy. I thought I was in the twilight zone. It's 10 o'clock, why is nobody there? What's going on? And so my daughter's like, well, I guess we're not getting our nails done today. And I was like, well, on to our next, on to plan B, let's go shopping now, right? And it's so crazy because the mind is like stuck on, well, I'm supposed to do this at a certain time. Why is it not happening? Surrendered is, being in a place of, okay, I trust that whatever was supposed to happen, happened. I'm surrendered to it and I'm gonna keep going on with my day in a place of peace. There's gonna be no afterthoughts to why was that place closed? What am what I supposed to do now? To, the mind wants to keep going and it wants to control everything and surrendered is like, 
okay, I trust that this is all working out for my best and highest good. And you are in this place of peace with it. And that's the feeling that surrendering brings when you're surrendering to the energy of mind, because mind's energies starts getting fear based. Oh my gosh, well, what, what if I have to remake a new appointment Then I have to go out at a different time? Well, what if I don't have, and the mind starts clinging to these, these energies of fear and surrender switches that and surrender is now putting you in this place of, I trust and I didn't have to do it's being done for me. And I'm excited to see why that nail salon was closed and why I was supposed to start my day, you know, doing something else instead. And you just sort of follow the path that soul is bringing you to without you having to manipulate it. And that's the difference between soul and mind. Mind is trying to manipulate every situation and soul is just trusting. It's letting mm -hmm. the situations and the energy work for you. And it's really this place of peace. So you brought me to a place, Lev. We were trying to go to my son's soccer game, right? And it was, we we're running late. <laughs> like, uh, it's just our thing. We're, we're late. We have to be 45 minutes early for practice. And then there is the game. And we're running late. And guess what? I hate putting gas. And I didn't put gas. So we're running late. I remember mentioning we need gas like the night before. And I guess we didn't put gas. And so that morning, we're running late. Holy crap. We're running, driving really fast. And we run out of gas because obviously I didn't put gas and it's it was my fault, but it's too late at this moment now we have no gas. And so that moment when we're driving and you have your pedal in the gas as fast as you can and it's no longer moving, right? You can either sit there and be in mind and worry and doubt and be in fear of like, holy crap, we're not gonna make it on time we're definitely going to predict all these bad things that can happen through mind, right? Or you can just release the gas and let God take over, <laughs> which is essentially what we did. And that's the difference between surrendering to the divine, trusting that everything is happening for your best and highest good and every now moment. And there is no good or bad, it just is. So I surrender to this moment now. And so this is what happens when you surrender in the now. We let go of the gas and right behind us, not even kidding, it feels like angels were flying behind us. Right behind us, there's, um, you know, landscaper uh, people, they have gas pre uh, put in like- Yeah, they have them in the canister. It. They can do it yes. into the lawn doors. Yeah, <laughs> so they, they have stop extra. We stop, they stop, I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I How am I gonna go to a gas station, get some gas, buy one of those little holders, and I'm not even kidding you, like angels, three cars stop. One car um, said, hey, are you guys okay? And they stopped their, their friends that were part of the um, landscaping team, and they were like, we got you. They put gas in our car, which was enough to get to the gas station and go. And I'm not even kidding you. It was full surrender. It was surrender to the moment that souls got us. It was surrender to, I trust you, God. I trust you, soul. I trust you, universe. And I'm vulnerable to this now moment. I trust you. And whatever is happening is for the best and highest good. And we not only got to the place that we needed to in time, we have gas. Everything is got all good in the world. And I know for a fact that if I didn't surrender in that moment, we could have been left there in the side of the road. My son would have been really sad. We wouldn't have gone to our game on time. I would have felt like crap because I obviously didn't plan ahead of time. And what surrender truly is, is you've released the past, right? Because there could have been a lot of regret from my end. You release the past and you release the future, right? Because the fear of the future and the, the, regret of the past both of those are mine and you just surrender in this now moment and it's like taking a seat of soul I really did I, I surrendered so much to where I just put my hand up and was like go ahead God right when people say Jesus take the wheel this is my true surrender of like go ahead so show and lead the way I trust you wholly and completely and these are the moments when soul takes over and it not only does what it needs to for the best and highest good, but it's almost like 
everything happens in orchestration of your best and highest good when you no longer are clinging to outcomes, right? Why if I can't get to the this place and then that means this is going to happen and this is going to happen and all these things can go wrong or you can sit back, relax and just surrender to the now. Surrender to the now and every now moment. And I think that's why so many people have such a hard time surrendering is because they're clinging to an outcome of a future that's never going to arise and you're clinging to a fear that can literally manifest a future that <laughs> is not <laughs> your best Sorry. and highest good. It, it's going to manifest things that are not for you. And when we really sit with the now and trust and surrender to it, we're really co-creating with the now moment to the fullest and highest capacity. Because if you look at the scale of consciousness and you also look at the highest scale where you are in synchronicities and extraordinary outcomes. I would say that's full surrender. I'm sitting here with my hands up, like in the middle of the freaking busy street. And well, it's yeah, like, it, I know it is so full surrender because there is no good or bad anymore. When you're fully surrendered, you aren't judging what has happened as good or bad. And that's why it's full surrender. That's why your soul yeah. mode, why everything kicks in for your best and highest good. Yeah. And I almost felt like I knew it was going to be okay. I knew it's that faith, right? It's that complete surrender. It's like jumping with your hands open and know God's going to catch you. Soul's going to catch you. The universe is going to catch you if you surrender to the divine. I could have sat there and had all these doubt and fears and was, been stuck there sitting in, in this energy of mine. Or I trust, surrender, and allow soul to do all the doings for me. And know that the, my best and highest good will come because I really felt it. I felt the knowing that I was going to be okay. And so when you are about to surrender something or someone, really ask yourself, what is the mind trying to cling on to for the future? Is there a specific outcome or preference that the mind is trying to have in order Hold for on. you to surrender? I, I want to add to that surrendering a fear too. I think that's a big one for a lot of people. It's really hard to send, surrender fears that we have, like big fears that we have. Yeah, it feels like when you're surrendering, you're surrendering to love. You could surrender it with fear and anxiousness and a lower vibration of more things that are not serving you or you can surrender to love and trust and faith that it will all work out and it always really truly does when we judge certain situations we are actually manifesting it through the lens of fear and that's why there's hesitation but when you release it and you truly surrender it to the now all that you want to surrender you're allowing yourself to surrender and be soul and be present with the moment unfolding. I felt like it was in slow motion, loves. Remember I told you guys there's angels behind us? <laughs> I felt like, I felt like these people from their landscaping like company woke up in the morning to put gas on that for us. Like they, they already knew. They were they're already gonna... absolutely co-creating with yes. you without even knowing yes. that. So, so Joanne, how many, you guys... we've had so many people, we've had so many people that we've gotten on calls with and they've had things come up in their life. And a lot of times it's um, surrounding like work or um, career paths, right? And we've had people and they're like, you know, I, I, I really wanna do this job that's out of the country, but I'm really scared. And I don't know if I should do it or not. I don't know if I should take that leap of faith. And that's sort of what we're talking about in this too. I mean, it's sort of all encompassing when these decisions sort of come into your experience and it's like, well, what do I do? And surrendering is saying, I'm just gonna follow where the road leads me without trying to control the outcome. And so for like the example of someone saying, I wanna go to another country, we'll start seeing what the universe is showing you. The universe will always give you the answers. That's what we, that's what we neglect to not only realize, but to really stand firm in. The universe is giving you literally the roadmap. It's paving the way. 
for your best and easiest transition to where you want to go. And a lot of times we're so clouded by the fear that we miss that on-ramp essentially to that road. And we then have to wait to, for another on-ramp to appear when we are ready. Yeah. Surrender is pure surrender in the now. It's surrendering and releasing all of the attachments that the mind has for fears in the future or worries of the past. And you're surrendering in this now moment, co-creating with this now moment, recognizing that your energy is bringing in the exact experience that you are in. So if your energy is in a high scale of consciousness with peace, love, joy, you're surrendering to synchronicities and extraordinary outcomes where you got freaking angels flying behind you saying, we got you, I got you. I have another example and I'm serious. I feel like life just becomes like, it's almost like a simulation of You say like magic. the Truman Show. It's literally like it the is. Truman Show. It Do is. the this. Cue the people. Yeah, yeah. bring, the bring Bring in the, the grandma or the aunt, right? Like right behind because you're surrendered in the now. And so it feels like it's like a magical orchestration of you because you're the universe. And when you're surrendering to it. So here's another example. And I, I know it's funny, but so our, we went to um, a soccer game here in Arizona, our, our actual like soccer team for the state, right? So we go and watch the, the games because my son, um, he, got, he got picked to go to the games. And so my son gets to meet all of the players and he shakes their hand and they take a picture. Well, this, this huge ass stadium, huge stadium, like just released the kids. And so my son's walking around and we, we can't find my son. Like we don't know how to find him in this crazy crowd. Cause it's not like they, he knows where he's at. They just released him to meet the players and then they, let him go and so all the other kids have been in the stadium before so they knew how to get back to their parents well our son didn't and so we're walking around and trying to find him and it was like again here's that moment do we surrender to god in the universe and just know the best and highest could come and you guys know like anyone who has kids the fear of like holy crap wife something happens wife some cancel cancel i'm canceling mine nine nine 99% of the time, because let's get real, mind is always negative. And it's hard to surrender when the mind has all these fears of the future or trying to figure out the past, right? Like how how of a horrible parent are we for not staying close to our kids when they're meeting the people? Because there's like a section where it's just all security and then we don't know where our kid is anymore, right? And so when you surrender in the full completion of the now, remember I told you when you're surrendering, you're surrendering to, it's almost like a meditative state where you're slow motion, jumping yeah, out of. It feels like flow state, <laughs> right? It Doesn't is a it flow state. Like it's like a river. Yeah. It's very, very um, natural. So here, here comes our son. We get a text from one of his um, playmate parents and was like, hey, we're in the, um, we're in the place. It was like the owner's box. It was the owner's box. We were in the owner's box. Your yeah. son's here. And so it's so crazy. Like our son is in the owner's box. We get to meet like the CEO. We get, he's like signing. My son is walking around on the stadium signing kids paper, like little babies that are like watching the game. They think he's part of it. <laughs> he's signing people all around and it's like, this is freaking a manifestation of synchronicities and extraordinary outcomes for freaking sure, right? When you think the worst is happening, the best and highest good comes in every now moment. You get to surrender completely in that flow state of, okay, God, universe, Jesus, take the freaking wheel because I can't control it with mine and the fear that the mind has is crazy. So I'm just gonna release this, I'm gonna trust and I'm gonna let go and I'm gonna let you just take over. It's like that. It's like driving, like I told you guys, when we're on the street and the car is about to run out of gas where the car doesn't move anymore. And I can either sit here and mope and cry and fear the worst, or I can trust and surrender and know the best and highest good is coming. And so that's totally what soul does. It You surrender, I trust and surrender to you soul. And here, my son who didn't even know that happened, he thought everything was part of it. <laughs> 
he was cradled from God, the universe. So cradled to be given to the right people, right time, right situation to have the most amazing experience for everyone that night. Right. We got to meet the CEO. We got to meet the players. He got to meet the players. He got to experience being in the crowd. My son wants to be like a famous soccer player. Well, guess what? He's experiencing it at 12, walking around, finding people in the crowd. It's freaking crazy. So when you're surrendered through soul, soul gets to manifest for you. And soul is love. Because you said so yourself, love. When you're surrendered through mind, you're surrendering to fear. And you're going to yeah. manifest. And so if you guys really want to feel into manifestation through surrender, look at the scale of consciousness from David Hawkins. On the right side of those lower scale of energies are what you're going to manifest from, right? You're going to be manifesting from lower fear-based energies that will be limited into your fullest capacity of co-creating with the now. Versus when you release all of the worries, all you receive is pure love, pure joy, pure bliss. And I can't even explain in words how things that you bring in your life through surrender is actually the fastest flow state space. It's like surrendering to the divine, surrendering love, right? If you really want to manifest the most deepest, amazing love, you have to release the biggest fear. And it's the complete opposite. You can't manifest love if you're feeling into the fear and you're clinging into the things that is the opposite of love. You can't be in one or the other. You can't bring in love in your life when you're clinging into the fear. When love is ever so softly flowing, what is meant for you? It's all natural. It's like a river that flows and there's nothing in the way and it's just super smooth sailing. That is surrender. Surrender, even though it's hard for the mind. That's why it's hard to surrender because you're really releasing anything that makes you feel like you're not in control anymore, right? To release the gas when you're in the middle of the street <laughs> and be like, okay, cool. I'm, I'm okay knowing where this leads me because I trust my soul right? To release the fears that mind have when you're trying to control everything in life and knowing that your soul's got you and the best and highest good always comes to you because you believe and truly trust in your soul. Every now moment is an opportunity to surrender and align with soul. Your highest, your highest timeline, which is pure love, or you're surrendering and releasing it to the lower vibrations of fear and fear-based energy and things that are not in your your deepest desires. You could shift them as soon as you surrender because it's fine. Let's say something crazy happened. I, I just give you two crazy examples of like what worst case scenarios, which ended up being the best case scenarios once you surrender and release. And that's the true surrendering experience is surrendering to every now moment, releasing the attachments of mind, releasing the attachments of outcomes to where you can be surprised by the universe. The so universe can show you and reveal to you your best and highest good in every experience because you trust and surrender to your soul. That's what I was going to say. I was it magic. It, the magic happens. Like the real magic happens when you're able to surrender because you get to be surprised. You get to be joyfully surprised to all the cool things that come your way without you having to have done anything. It's like everything you're asking for is suddenly like boom, boom, boom. It's coming to you, <laughs> and you mm -hmm. didn't have to do anything. You're just yeah. working on. That's all you're doing. In surrendering, you're working on releasing the fear and you're working on shifting to a place of love. That's what surrendering. Yeah. yeah. I love it. <laughs> we love you all so much. If you found this channel, this is the place for you to raise your levels of consciousness, continue to manifest your deepest, most amazing desire 
and continually reach your truest version of you as soul. We love you, beautiful souls. Bye, love. Bye, love.